let's have a look quickly at the extension work. What we're going to do in this lesson is I'm going to draw this. <coughs> I'm going to start off with the spanner over here. And I'm going to follow it by this sketch over here. I'm going to leave this one out, uh, the one on the left here, just simply because there's not enough dimensions there. Uh, when I drew it, uh, I put so there's, there's actually so many dimensions to make that fully defined that you can hardly see the drawing. Uh, so I'm not going to draw that one today, but it is possible to draw it. It definitely is. Uh, I drew that one uh, before. Uh, maybe in the future I'll upload that one. But I think these two on the right-hand side are more important just to start off with. So make sure you've got your study guide in front of you, please. Uh, and we're going to have we're going to start off by drawing this sketch at the top here. All right. Um, I think most of the dimensions should be here. Um, if they're not, the question does say guess them. Uh, and when I say guess them, I mean an educated guess. Don't go, it's 5,000, and then so that's not going to work. So we need to do an educated guess. But this one should be pretty relatively easy to do. So let's get going. The place, the position of the origin does not matter on that one. Um, although I think it would um, probably help you to have it in the middle of the circle. So I'm going to start off with the big circle. And I'm going to draw a small circle inside of that and quickly give them dimension. So big circle is 100. And the smaller circle <coughs> inside there, excuse me, is 25. Now, you'll notice it's not fully defined because it's not actually on the origin. So I was put in a hurry there. So let's just merge that. And it becomes fully defined. No mess, no fuss. Now I'm going to draw this I'm going to draw a center line quickly. Make sure it's horizontal. And I'm going to draw the circle to the left hand side, which is 36. And the distance between them is 177. Now we're going to make. What I'm going to do here is. I'm going to do this a little bit differently. Uh, I'm just going to draw a random line here. Uh, and I'm actually going to add the relations as I need them. Uh, just because I think in this case, it, it might actually be easier just to add them one by one. So the first relation is that this needs to be coincident. The second is the line needs to be tangent with the circle. Tangent. The third one is that point needs to be coincident to this circle. Okay. We know that the distance from here to there is let's see it 62 divided by 2 okay, which is 31 all right and now what I'm actually going to do here is I'm, I'm going to mirror this line uh, so I'm going to mirror entities entities to mirror that line about where about that center line and that gives us an identical line that's symmetrical so if we change this it would change on the other side too. So that's basically why I did that. Now we're going to trim. I'm going to trim away the bits I don't want, which is all these inside pieces. And I'm going to do the sketch fillet on that point over there. Uh, you can't do a sketch fillet before you've actually cut the lines away because you can't do a fillet between a line and a circle. So that's the only reason I cut away and then I do the sketch fillet. All right, now the slot. I'm going to use the, the slot tool. Um, you can see over here, there's four different types of slot tools. And this, you'll, you'll see these little numbers in green. One, two, three, four. Or at least on this one, it's one, two, three. Those are the clicks you're going to use to draw the slot. So, my first click is on the center of there. My second click and my third click sets the distance, uh, the width of that slot. So, I know it's 12. 12, and I know that the length from there to there, see, okay, from here to there, is 112 from my drawing. All right, um, the, the reason it's fully defined already is because this point uh, of the slot, let's zoom in there a little bit, this point of the slot is concentric with that circle. Uh, I drew it like that, I drew an automatic relation to do that. Good. The next thing we want to do quickly is I'm going to draw those two arc slots. Uh, that would be this slot at the top here, 
this lot at the top and that one at the bottom. I'm going to draw those too quickly. So I'm going to use a set point arc slot. It's got four clicks. So my first click is the radius of the slot. Okay. My second click is just to lock that. Okay. Oops. All right. Third click, setting the, I suppose, the amount of degrees that it runs through. And my fourth click is the width of that thing. In this case, what I'm going to do to make this fully defined, because in the question, uh, I've actually given you an angle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put two construction lines, or center lines, whatever, and I'm going to put angles between them. So we know that 180 minus 150 gives us 30, and the other side will be 150. 150. Okay. And lastly, we need the width. Uh, we know that the outside radius is 37, and the width is 12. So the outside is 37. Okay. And the width from there to there is 12. Alright, again, I'm not going to draw the slot again on the other side. Just going to use mirror entities. Entities to mirror is the slot and mirror about the center line to the other side. And that gives us a perfect mirror image. Now, the question says we need to extrude this by 10 millimeters. So we say extrude. It's already 10. And there we have it. Alright, so I'm just going to save this quickly onto my desktop and then we're going to go on with the other one. All right, let's carry on with the second problem on this paper. That would be this one over here. Now, there are a couple of ways in which we can draw this. Um, and it, I suppose at the end of the day, it depends on you. but but. Actually, what we could do is we could just draw a quarter of this thing, like this. Just draw that top quarter and then mirror it four times. Uh, I'm not sure if that's necessarily easier uh, than to, to draw the whole thing and just mirror some of the features. Uh, I'm not sure, but it's, well, I'm going to use a hybrid of both. Um, so, let's start a new drawing. At least new part. Uh, let's start on the top plane, and I'm going to start with the big circle, which is the outside. Okay. And its diameter is 18. Quite a bit smaller than what I anticipated. All right, now I'm going to draw this first circle at the top here, which has a radius at least a diameter of 24 okay and we could actually well let's just draw them all four not a problem one two three you could circular pattern this uh if you don't want to draw all four but we're going to get to circular patterning later so for now i'm just going to draw it like this i think circular patterning this circle or well, in this case would be quite a bit easier okay and we're going to draw the little circle. Uh, no. Let's cut away the bits we don't want first. Yeah, let's do that. So, trim entities. Let's trim away the pieces we don't want. Okay. Let's draw the circle. The little circles. Two, three, four. Okay, and their diameters are 12, I believe. Yep. 12. 12. I suppose you could also make them equal. Adding equal relations. That could also work. Okay. So, now let's quickly do the fillet. Uh, the fillet has a radius of 12. And we're going to add it. That's an interesting error right there. Nevertheless, let's do the ones we can do. Okay, let's try again. Let's 
going to go on it. Okay, works now. So I had to do it in two steps apparently. Good. Now we're going to use that center point arc slot again to draw one of the arcs, uh, one of the slots. So remember, it's one, two, three, four clicks. And let's get that baby fully defined. So we know that this distance here is 62. No, it will be 31. Because damn it. 31. 62 is the diameter and the inside of that slot is going to be 42 divided by 2 which is 21 okay and we know that it's 30 degrees from the horizontal okay, and what I'm actually going to do here is I'm actually going to put in two center lines possibly helped us a little bit better earlier all right and from small dimension from here to there about 30 degrees from there to there also 30 degrees okay I just while I'm remembering this um, what we what we have in SOLIDWORKS is we have what we call mouse gestures uh, and the way mouse gestures works is you can hold your right click button uh, and if you hold it in and drag it opens this little window um, well this and, and this is called gestures and what you can do is you can actually very quickly navigate through different functions by using gestures so if you right click hold it in and you go right then you're going to use the circle tool if you do it again it switches off the circle tool the same is at the top um, we use gestures like that. I'm not going to use gestures for this course. I just want you to know that they exist. I'm not going to use gestures because uh, that really makes drawing quite a bit faster. Uh, and we want to try and keep it as slow as possible so that you can understand. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mirror this item again. So, entities to mirror, I'm going to select the slot and mirror about that axis to the other side. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is mirror again. Except I'm going to select these two both, and I'm going to mirror them both around the center axis. All right. Lastly, we're going to use the polygon tool to insert a hexagon. All right. And we know that one of the sides is 12. That side of there is 12. Okay. And it's still underdefined because one of these points has to be on. Well, it doesn't have to be, but strongly suggested that it's on the horizontal line or what on the center line. Or what we could have done is just selected that edge and made it horizontal. Good. There we go. Features. Extrude. 10 millimeters. And there we have it.